Good. I uh, wanted to get your thoughts and just uh, what does it mean to have a, a guy like Rajon Rondo, who's a complete floor general? Uh, after, I know it's only been one game, but what is it like to have him? And then also with the addition of Boogie Cousins, what do you feel like those two individuals will bring to this team and, and aid this team? Um, you know, having Rondo around is great. You know, he's he, he knows a lot about the game. He's been around for years. Uh, you know, he sees the game different. He's always giving his input on, you know, when he sees fit on different situations. So just having him there for knowledge, just getting everybody better has, has been awesome so far. Uh, and then Boogie Cousins, you know, it, that name speaks for itself. You know, he's a great player. He's always been a great player, um, a, a big, a big time presence on the court. So just having them both is pretty cool. Thanks, Nick. Uh, we will go next to Law. Good morning, Terrence. How you feeling? Good morning. Uh, you haven't seen the Blazers since since December. It's, just, it's really similar to the last couple games with the Nuggets, the Lakers. What's it like uh, to, you know, getting ready to prepare for these teams that you saw earlier in the year, but now literally three entire months have gone by and you're getting ready to see them again. And there's a chance that you could see him uh, next month in the playoffs. Right. Um, you know, it's not, it's not easy when you, when you don't see a team for that long, especially when they, they made a, they made a trade. Um, you know, they got a, a great player in the house. So, you know, it's, it's just going to be hard just trusting the coach to game plan. Um, you know, see whatever they want us to do and go out there and execute it, really. Thanks, Law. We'll go next to Miriam. Morning, Terrence. Appreciate your patience, Ben, and, and all your insight on this weird Zoom life we're doing. <laughs> um, I, I wonder, uh, A, do, do you have a basketball card you're carrying around Boogie Cousins? And um, B, mm -hmm. just, you know, you obviously there's a, like a lot of like really big name vets that have, that have been coming through this year. Like, how cool is that to be able to like pick the brains of those guys? Um, a, no, I don't have a card of Boogie Cousins just yet. And uh, B, I mean, not even this year, just the past two years. You know, last year we had Joaquin Noah late, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Just, you know, different, different guys coming in and out. Just, you know, you learn a lot of different things. And, you know, you hear guys' stories about their careers. Everybody's path is different. I think you realize that, you know, when you see all these different vets coming in and out. So, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool at the same time, especially me being a fan of the NBA, you know, ever since I was younger, just being able to see these guys because I've been following their careers for so long. Uh, so for me, it's been a surreal feeling. Uh, thank you so much, man. Thanks, Miriam. We will go next to Shane. Hey, Terrence, good morning. Uh, do you personally look forward to the challenges of guarding the the pull-up shooters of the the most elite pull-up shooters in the league such as like Steph and Dame and and what's that challenge like for you as a defender um I wouldn't say I personally look forward to challenges of you know pull-up shooters and stuff like that you know I think every night I'm ready to guard you know whoever I have to to help the team win so um I don't just look forward to it just because you know they're you know high caliber players, you know, every night I'm ready to guard whoever. So, but you know, it's a difficult task. It's not easy. They're great players. Um, I think I read a stat, like some crazy number of Damian Lillard's threes are off the dribble. So, you know, he, he really gets to it off the dribble. You know, he, he, he shows no fear as you guys know, he'll shoot from anywhere. So, you know, it's not easy going to a game playing against a guy like that, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And you just gotta go out there and play hard. Thanks, we'll go next to Cam. Hey, what's up, Terrence? Good morning. Um, I want to know. You said it's pre it's been pretty cool, and you're a fan of the NBA too, and you've got to meet all these different players. Yo, King Noah, obviously now Rajon Rondo. Uh, you've been with Lou Williams. If you can summarize, I want to ask you about one lesson that you learned, but I know it's been a whole lot that you learned. What's probably a couple of biggest takeaways that will stick with you or that stuck with you so far? Um, I, th I think I said one of them, you know, everyone's path is different. I learned that, you know, through me and all the vets, talking with all the vets. Um, you know, I would say that's the one main one that you got to realize. Like, your path won't be the same as the next guy. You know, you can't look at the next guy and try to, you know, do what he does and try to set goals that he sets because yours is going to be different. So I think just being around all those guys over the past, you know, two years, I've learned that for sure. And that's, that's one big one that will stick with me. Thanks, Taryn. That's all the questions we have. Have a good practice. Right. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. We will see you this afternoon.